So I think today I'm going to be tackling this Chinese elm um, that's in this pot that was given to me as a gift from Gav at Not Another Bonsai Channel. And I'm kind of just going to work you through my idea, my thought process, branch by branch as we go up and kind of my whole reasoning behind my my pruning thought. So I'm going to start start with the bottom here and work the way up. But as a general as a general overview what I'm looking to do with this is I'm looking to develop this branch here on the left as the strongest most dominant branch. I'll be looking probably to save this as a thread graft. And I got some tips from BC, and that will probably be thread grafted either here or a little bit higher up here. This whole left side is pretty sparse. Um, each branch has their strengths and weaknesses, but I will not be I will not be pruning them all the same. Um, and there is you know a reason to the madness there. So this tree will not look cleaned up and pretty by the time I'm done, but um, yeah, there's a, there's a method to the madness. So I'll bring you in um, from the bottom to the top and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So starting off at the bottom here, um, although I could let this grow out and it would contribute to the thickening of this bottom, it might actually look pretty nice. Um, I'm actually happy with that, you know, gradual taper going to the top. I don't need nothing I don't need nothing like a extreme thickening on the base. Um, so I have this next one and I, I could leave this one but then this would have to be the dominant branch being the lowest and although that would look fairly nice that would take a long time to catch up to this branch, which I have already determined to be um, the dominant one. So it does kind of contribute to the energy, but I, I, I really, I really don't need it. I really don't. So, although this is technically the lowest, it is kind of going out the back. So. This one is not planned on being the dominant one. And I'll, I'll bring you up as we go through that. So what I want to do is start to just assess this branch and this branch only and not take into account anything else that's going on in the tree. So first I just want to look at the structure. Um, I'll take these fertilizer off because it'll just roll off. Um, just you know, give it a look. Structure looks fine. Um, these shoots are going way up, and um, you know, you you could wait to wire this. You definitely could wait to wire this. Definitely not the time now to wire this. These are much too fragile, but they are semi-lignified, so there there is something you can do to these. Um, and I'll 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 show you. It's it's pretty simple. You just take these and. Actually, I'll, I'll show you the, you see how the angle's upright like that? Without wire and without pruning, you can stretch and massage these and stretch out those lignans in the semi-hardened wood. Not, not too much, you're not going for a straight bend, but just massage them. Not here at the tip, but here at the elbow. And what you'll find is they will hold. They'll perk up a little bit, but they'll never get back to that upright position that they were in. You don't want to be extreme on bending them. Go over them a couple times. And it will actually, it will remember um, this within the wood. You stretch out the lignans, it, it, it will never go back to straight to where it was. This one is, um, this one's already pretty down, but as you can tell, those are not sticking straight up. So it'll go a little bit up, 
but what will, what will tend to happen is that even though it tries to go up again you'll notice that this relaxing of the lignans and the wood will actually make this go down a little bit more as summer progresses so you don't necessarily want to set them and stretch them all the way down here because it'll just exaggerate that stretch so then I assess do these need to be thickened and each one of these need to be thicker to catch up so no printing on these just let them just let them do what they do um, next we'll come up to the dominant branch and there's all kinds of things going on so this guy right here is actually its own branch but we're going to be working on this one um, this is too weak not thick enough this could be this could be pruned this one that's going straight up we're not going to massage that down or anything to be its own branch i actually need that for a thread graft so we're going to leave that guy alone and we're going to come over and see what else we can do. This one's too weak. I'm going to leave it alone. We have a branch trying to form back here. It's actually a structural flaw, so we do not need that. And then we just come straight over. This bifurcates. It's weak. Um, this one, we could... We could try to massage this down. See how it looks. That's a bit of a, a bit of a weird angle. Um, but I think what I will do is I will directional prune it. This is um, one, two, three, four, mostly hardened off. It. It's almost too early to do this, but I really don't need this branch anyways. So we'll just see how that directional prune takes off. If you can see it right there, it'll go up a little bit and it'll shoot out. Not necessarily the best angle. I might actually take that off in the future. Um, come straight over, this bifurcates. It's, um, yeah, that's good. And it actually has a branch further back right there. We have this guy underneath, which is actually three at a point. So we don't we don't want this. This branch is always already the thickest on this tree, so it's not like I'm taking too much away from it. What I will do. I will take this stub off now because the energy is the energy is flowing through this tree so it'll heal this pretty nicely if you want healing you want you want energy flow um, we won't clean it up any further than that so this this is kind of sticking up so we'll just do the same thing Kind of have to judge you know use your best intuition on the bending and the massaging of that you know semi lignified wood um, but you can already tell the the plane of that is lower than what it was and if it does perk up you can come back in a day or two and do this again it, it will remember what you did so come straight across this is coming out from this two right here, this one back is actually further back, but we got some crotch growth in there. Just pick that out. Um, kind of like the angle of that. We don't need to massage that one down. Then we come over. And we got these two. Hmm. We can... We can massage this one down a little bit to stretch out those lignans. So what it'll do is it'll stretch out the lignans on the top of that branch and it will compact it on the bottom. So yeah, like I said before, what you'll find is as it's growing, that that stretching out of the lignans will actually be exaggerated 
and those will actually dip down more than what it seems like right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a lot of mess in here. Let's see. A lot of wheat growth in there. The only bad thing I see in here is uh, shading out. Got a branch growing inwards, which we'll take that off. This branch back here, you can see on my finger, I might not quite make it. It's way too shaded out. We'll just rely on this bottom one. So we'll let those go. That's actually that branch. You notice we didn't really, we didn't really prune too much. Um, thickening overall structure. That's all we're looking for from that one. Uh, we already assessed this guy that we're letting shoot out and go as a future thread graft. And then we come up to the next one, this level up here. So it does still have some wire on it, but it's not quite. Um, bitten in yet. The angle is not too bad because we're starting to get to the apex. I don't necessarily want to massage those down too much. Um, first thing I look at is the relative thickness of this branch compared to the main branch. So this is just a little bit smaller than the one I'm hoping to be the main branch. So the thickness is there. Next I go to the secondaries. Um, this thickness is there. This one's almost caught up. So next I look at next I look at the actual growth from this year, and I think I think we can prune that. I think I'm happy with the overall the overall thickness. And we're going towards the top. I'm just checking to see how hardened off they are how much uh, of the cuticle they have formed and where I'd like to make the cut. I actually think this is a bit early to be doing this, but I think they're hardened off enough. And uh, I'm going to cut those leaves in half just to make sure that branch knows that it hasn't done its job, so it'll push again. We got this little weak guy next to it that's trying to bifurcate, and it's it's weak, so we'll leave it alone. This one's weak. We'll leave that alone. Um, this is a weird angle. It's actually prime candidate for direction prune. Sometimes um, when you prune and you're going for direction prune, you lose your bifurcation because you're just looking for that change in direction. Um, if I was, if I was to prune this, looking for bifurcation, I probably would massage this down, which I think I'll do, just a little bit. I don't want to exaggerate it too much because, like I said, it'll exaggerate more as the growing goes on. So if it bifurcated now, it would it would bump into that. So we're going for a direction prune and we're going to go, we're going to go right there. I'm going to leave a, a decent, a decent flag on it, a fairly long flag above that leaf right there in hopes that it will pop out at a more, more uh, obtuse angle. So bring it out here and keep it away from this area. So coming over, just focusing on this branch and this branch alone. We look at the thickness of everything. I like all the thickness there. There's not much extension on this, on this growth. This one's weak, so we don't touch that one. And uh, let's see. Trying to look for some buds back behind these two small ones, so I don't really see any. I 
think. Yeah, I think we'll leave two. Sometimes I'll only leave one if I'm just looking for a direction change. So we're gonna go over. We got this weak branch going over the top. I kinda like that. It's just a matter of um, assessing what you got. These, these aren't super strong, but I'm not looking for this tree to be very big. And they're mostly hardened off. I'm just at the I'm just at the entry point to be able to do this. So one, two right there. We're gonna bring this guy back as far as we can. Two leaves. I just cut one of the leaves and a half. I'm just letting it know that um it needs to push again. It's kind of an insurance policy, cutting the leaf in half. This branch is weak. This branch is a bit of an acute angle. It's, it's, it's all right, it's an all right angle, but. Actually, you know what, I think, I think that could use a prune. We're gonna come you don't always want it to bifurcate at the first set of leaves. Um, depends on what you're going for. I could go back here and bifurcate here, or I can prune right here and leave this leaf and, you know, bump the direction over there. Um, I don't want to prune all the way out here because then the bifurcation would change all of these bifurcation points. So I'm not necessarily looking for a direction change. I'm just going to go for straight bifurcation um actually you know what i lied i'm gonna go for a direction change so i'm not looking for bifurcation necessarily here i'm just i just want this branch to be popped over here cutting that leaf in half letting it know all right so we come to the next highest branch which is actually this one right here and I'll bring you up. Let's get this thread graph thing out of the way. This is the next branch as we're going to the top. So the thickness is getting smaller as we're going to the top. I like this to be a little thicker, but we'll see what kind of branching we have. We have this one right here, which I like. So this, this branch, the primary branch, actually needs a little more development. So I'm gonna massage that down a little bit. This is good. And then you got this one. Everything needs to catch up on this, so I'm just gonna massage this one down a little bit. This weak guy coming off this end here, so we'll leave that alone. It kind of competes with, kind of competes with this. It's not too good. All right, so we're gonna come up to the top next. I think that branch is done, and so everything we wanted below. It's really going to kick in after we do work on the top. So, next branch would be this one. It is plenty thick enough in proportion with everything below it. So, we're going to take this one back as far as we can. This one we're going to take back. Um, Keeping direction changes and directional pruning in mind. It's going to bump out here and here. I kind of like that. Insurance policy, make sure that happens. And we keep going to the top. So up here we got, there's actually, and this is the same as it was last year, 
there's actually three going from the same point. So if this is the if this is the front, I have to definitely keep definitely keep this. And I this one is more developed, so I am actually going to I'm actually gonna take this whole thing off. It already creates, there's already a bit of swelling up there from last time there was a third branch. It's unfortunate because uh, that would have, that really, really contributed to this area, but we got all this stuff up here, so. Um, yeah, we'll go right along with this one. Strong, portioned, it's uh, grown really well. And we don't want that to get any thicker. So, let's take that one back as far as we can. As aggressive, as aggressive as I can on the top. I'm not looking for, I'm looking for ramification up here. I'm not looking for thick growth up here. Give a look to the structure. Tempting to take that inner one off, but I, I don't know how it'll come out and fill out in the future. Coming over here. Uh, silhouette's right about here. So we're going to do, I think I'm going to do a direction prune. Leaving a decent, a decent flag on there. Kick it out over here. This is actually the next branch. I'm taking this whole thing as its own branch, even though it bifurcates. This is weak, but I like what it contributes. So I'm gonna leave that because it's weak. It's not thick enough to consider it. Come over here. This is weak. This is strong enough and going outside of where I want it. So we're gonna go, actually we're gonna go all the way back to here Kind of a direction change and um, keep working to the top you notice uh, a lot more pruning up here so we got these two tightly spaced together I'm not looking for an extreme angle so we'll go pretty close to that leaf up here as close as I can get it Little insurance policy to make sure that kicks on when the time is right. Mm, that one's not. That one's not too developed. I can prune it right now. It wouldn't give me a strong kickback, but what it will do is it'll dump that oxen down to the lower part of the tree. So. I'm not expecting that one to be stellar because of what I just did there. Fairly, This one's fairly hardened off. My other elms, I look for a lot more extensions before I do this kind of pruning, but it's ready and I'm trying to keep it fairly small. So go back, a little bit of insurance policy. I'll leave that little one alone. We'll just do that one leaf. Same thing here. I'm looking to curb the energy up here. So I'm not looking for, you know, four or five, six sets of leaves up here. This one, ideally, I would like to have it bifurcate, but since I'm trying to keep it as compact as possible, I'll have at least that one, but I think there's a bud right there. So, um, Let's go for a softer angle. Don't need much backbone right there. Insurance policy, and we come to 
the last branch, which is super, super skinny. See that? It's very skinny. And it's only got one and a half sets of leaves that are hardened off. It is outside of the silhouette that I have planned for it, but it's weak. It's skinny, it's weak. If I did prune it, it's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a spectacular push. So we're gonna leave that. And that will eventually be pruned soon. So I will zoom back out and I will I'll just do an overview of what we did. As I said before, the overall plan is to make this the dominant branch. We massage some of those branches down a little bit more so they are not, you know, up at a 45, they're, they're more down. And as they grow, as I said, because you stretch those lignans, that will be exaggerated as it grows. Um, it'll, it'll start to slope down a little bit and the tips will try to go up. But eventually those will be gone anyway, so we're looking for the angle shift that's happening right here. We know that we're leaving this for a thread graft to kind of rectify this bare left side. We know we have this weak branch that needs to develop, so we didn't touch. We didn't touch much down here, but as we got to the top, our you know pruning decisions got a little more aggressive. And what what that means ultimately for for the development of this tree is. Since I did so much pruning up here, the hormone auxin, which suppresses growth down here, is going to be shoved back down to here. So now this is the dominant plane of growth. So this, this top is now subservient to this growth until the apex catches up. And if I want to continue developing the bottom this year, what will happen is when this catches up, this will turn back to be the dominant. I'll cut this back again. It'll dump that oxen down here and we can continue thickening and bringing this bottom up, up to speed. So yeah, it's a lovely little Chinese elm in a great pot. As I mentioned, this is one of two pots given to me by Gav from Not Another Bonzo channel. Um, I suggest you take a look at his channel. He's a yeah, he's a great guy, and he does, he does really good stuff. But also, I'd like to give a shout out to BC, who gave me um, tips on, you know, thread grafting. So, you know, any, any little thing that I don't know that I can add to my tool bag is, um, is a much bigger help than it would seem. And, yeah, he did give me some good tips, so... If you, if, you know, I, I would, um, I would implore you to go check, take a look at his channel. He does some great things. He collects really, really cool material. Um, yeah, very talented. And, um, yeah, I hope this, uh, I hope this progresses well into the future. This was grown from seed, so it's got a long way to go. But, um, with that... I will give it back its I will give it back its supplement energy. It's only its first dose and I'm not I'm not trying to ramp this up too fast. It will get another dose, possibly even three doses before I before I cut it off at the end of the year. So um yeah, I know I haven't really posted that many videos. Um I kind of kind of do a lot of things in stealth mode by my own so um, but yeah just a little update on this Chinese elm I uh, hope you enjoyed it see you guys later